Check one two. Sound. Sound check one two.
<clears throat> okay. Welcome to the stream. On our last playthrough, um, we started over and in a more efficient manner went ahead and basically took care of everything that's mapped out on this uh, revised map here so far. And I apologize for not having the uh, I apologize for not having the uh, sections that I mapped out on the last episode to the revised map because we mapped out the uh, we mapped out the wizard wizards area over here by the cobweb webby corridor and I'm pretty sure that's where we're at. I'm pretty sure our last hard save was here in the cobwebby corridor. And we mapped out the hot air balloon part here west of the ice room. And uh, we saw that this just goes to Volcano View. So we haven't been to the Bank of Zork yet. Oh, we did get the carousel to stop too. We haven't been straight west of the carousel room and we haven't been straight south of the carousel room. So what I'm going to do is uh, I believe we're starting here in the cobwebby corridor with our last uh, what I'm going to call a hard save. So we'll do a recap of what we did at the end of last episode in fewer turns. And again, I apologize for not having like this wizard's area added to the revised map. I'm still working off of my uh, rough map of that, which I took a whole page just mapping those like six rooms. And uh, the balloon area. And then we'll tackle the bank. We'll see what's uh, south. We'll make the black sphere. So, since we're already in the cobwebby corridor, I'm going to start off and uh, go ahead and get the clear sphere and put it on the pedestal, and then go to the balloon area. Is uh, what the plan is from here. So, CD to the interactive fiction. folder and frots sort two dot z three restore and verbose and look oh really we're still in the gazebo huh what the heck? Well, what was my last save? Because that's not... And I don't see the red sphere. Oh boy. Okay, let's see here. Interactive fiction... Here's a save at Balloon. I saved more than that, didn't I? Oh boy. Did I really not have a good save after that?
So this is just after, I don't want to do that, okay. Let's uh, restore back to tea room. I wonder, let's uh, rename this to something else. Because I'm pretty sure that's the Zork 2 save I want. Let's try restoring this again. Just Zork 2 without the .qzl and see what happens. Guarded room. Okay, now we're back to where I thought we was. That's at the same file name going on. All right. What a relief that I didn't lose all that. Wow. <laughs> so we're in the guarded room. Look. Okay, and the door is open. Now I'm going to try something here. Turn off lantern. Wow. Okay, so I need the lantern. At least for now. And from the carved webby corridor, we want to go southwest. What? Oh, we're in the guarded room. That's right. We want to go south. You're standing in an entry hall of the wizard's workshop, the cor dark corridors, west and south. So we want to go ahead and go west. And west again. And get this clear sphere. So throw sword at aquarium. Did I? Why didn't that work? Aquarium looks spelled properly. A Q. U A R I U M. Okay, it worked that time. That's weird. The sword shatters the glass wall of the aquarium, spilling out an impressive amount of salt water and wet sand. It also spills out an extremely annoyed sea serpent who bites angrily at the sword and then at you. He is having difficulty breathing and he seems to hold you responsible for his current problem. He tries to slither across the stone floor towards you. Fortunately, he expires mere inches away from biting off your foot. A clear crystal sphere sits amid the sand and broken glass on the bottom of the aquarium. So let's see what we got here. Okay, I do have the brick and the string newspaper matchbook. get sphere head back to the east this room is the wizard's workroom a hall continues east and west and a larger room lies to the south there are many shelves and racks on the walls but the wizard's workbench dominates the room it is made of dark heavy wood bound with iron the workbench is stained for many years of use and is deeply gouged as though some huge clawed animal was imprisoned on it there are burn marks and even notes written in a crabbed hand. Many arcane items are scattered about the bench. Alembics, mortars, and pestles, small knives of various sizes, 
odd scraps of vellum, wax candles, and much more. In the center of a relatively clear area of the bench are affixed three stands, ruby, sapphire, and diamond, which form a triangle. So put sphere on diamond stand. Alright, so we got that done. So now we're ready to catch up with the balloon. So I'm going to go ahead east north from the guarded room we go north again and we're in the cobweb D corridor so now let's go ahead so now we want to go north and then down I'll show you here here's the map so from the cobweb D corridor we go north and then down to get to the ice room and west of there is the balloon, the hot air balloon stuff. So let's go do that part of the quest. And then we'll finally get to the parts we haven't been to yet, which is the Bank of Zork. And uh, I'm not sure if we can hand, if we can deal with this area before we summon a demon or not. I can't remember. But we do have to deal with the Bank of Zork still which is the bank of Zork is over here but right now we're going to deal with the hot air balloon so the lava from the lava tube we go down and then we want to go west oh boy this is a small room whose walls are formed by an old lava flow there are exits here to the east and south on the floor lies a Moby Ruby. Okay, we don't we're not worried about the Moby Ruby for now. A strange little man in a long cloak appears suddenly in the room. He is wearing a high pointed hat embroidered with astrological signs. He has a long, stringy, and unkempt beard. The wizard draws forth his wand and waves it in your direction. It begins to glow with a faint blue glow. The wizard in a deep and resonant voice, speaks the word fall. He cackles gleefully. It's not time to rob the bank yet. It's pretty close. We're going to do the balloon again soon. And I should have saved right before this. But that's okay. We'll see what happens when we go south. And let's. we should be able to turn off the lantern now. No? That don't make sense. So we want to enter basket. So let's go ahead and save. Zork 2 works. And um... Basket... Oh boy. So now I'm under the fall spell. Let's diagnose. I'm in perfect health. Let's, I guess, enter basket. Let's, I guess we'll just try this. Come on, wear off spell. Whoa! This is... Okay, I'm in the basket. Jeez. Thanks a lot, wizard. Um, open receptacle. Uh, and this is, this is great adventure game physics. Put newspaper in receptacle. White match. 
white newspaper with match. The newspaper burns inside the receptacle. The cloth bag inflates as it fills with hot air. A small label drops from the bag into the basket. The match has gone out. Might as well read the label. We gotta wait anyway. Taken. Frabaz Magic Balloon Company. Hello, aviator. To land your balloon, say land. Otherwise, you're on your own. No warranty, expressed or implied. So I'm going to wait. I'm at the volcano core. Wait some more. Near small ledge. In the basket. You're about 200 feet above the volcano floor. Looming above. Yeah, seems. <laughs> I got a kick out of this when I was in high school in the 80s. Let's fly my hot air balloon with newspaper and matches. So it's uh, land. What's he do? What do he do to me now, man? This dang wizard is messing with me now. On the floor is a priceless gold zork mid. There's a small hook attached to the rock here. The wizard appears, floating nonchalantly in the air beside you. He grins sideways at you. He draws forth his wand and waves it in your direction. It begins to glow with a faint blue glow. The wizard, in a deep and resonant voice, speaks the word feeble. He cackles gleefully. All at once, you feel very tired. In fact, you feel so weak that you drop the blue label. Okay, that's fine. There's a bunch of stuff we can drop. We can drop... Uh, drop key actually tie wire to hook before we do anything all right drop brick comma key comma need the lamp oh didn't like that extra comma exit is to the south south oops exit basket South. Read Green Book. Huh. Read Purple Book. Whoops. Get stamp. All right, I don't think I need those other books. I, there's something about the green book that makes me think I need it for something. I can't remember what. Right. 
so let's go ahead and go north. I know we needed to get that stamp. So let's get Zork mid. Can I carry that? Nope. Diagnose. You seem unusually weak right now. Put green book in basket. Put purple book in basket. Get Zorkman. Man, that I guess we've been lucky. We've been uh the wizard's been pretty harmless up to... Alright, now we can enter the basket. And the wizard's spell wore off. Untie wire. The wire falls off the hook. Near a ledge, exit to the south. There is a small. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so now we just uh, we do need that brick. So get brick taken. The balloon leads to the ledge. Um. Yep, he is an annoyance, but that that was pretty annoying. Make me so I can't carry enough stuff. He's not really dangerous. He isn't. But he man, he just got me. Bam, bam. Here you go, buddy. Okay, drop Zork Med. And that's... The balloon ascends. To the east is what appears to be a viewing ledge too thin to land on. Okay, yep. Volcano near wide ledge. Okay, land. Tie wire to hook. Exit basket. Save. Balloon. And south. You are in a dusty old room which is featureless except for an exit on the north side. Embedded in the far wall is a rusty box. It appears to be somewhat damaged since an oblong hole has been chipped out in front of it. Examine box. Open box. The box is rusted and will not open. All right, so put brick and hole, put string and brick, Match light string with match the string starts to burn. All right, do we want to? 
north. Get the heck out of here. A wide ledge. You are in a wide ledge. Okay. There is an explosion nearby south. On the far wall is a rusty box whose door has been blown off. The room is cluttered with debris from an explosion. The walls seem ready to collapse. The excessively gaudy crown of Lord Dimwit Flathead is here. The box contains a card, so let's uh, get crown. Crown. Get card. North. Enter basket. Untie wire. The wire falls off the hook. Okay, we haven't ascended yet. Off the ledge. So let's go ahead and read card. Warning. This room was constructed over very weak rock strata. Detonation of explosives in this room is strictly prohibited. Froba's Magic Cave Company per M. Agrippa the Foreman. Alright, so we're still on the wide ledge, so let's wait. The balloon leaves the wet ledge. Alright, so now we're near the wide ledge. You are near the rim of the volcano. Above you it is open to the sky cloth bag. Okay, so let's uh, close receptacle. And the balloon is descending. So now we get to land the balloon. And what do we have in our inventory here? Cool. The ledge collapses. That was a narrow escape. The balloon descends. And the balloon descends some more. And the balloon... The balloon has landed. The basket comes to a stop. Volcano bottom and basket. Alright, so we know where this stuff is. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna save. And we're gonna go uh, Zork 2 as our hard save here. Exit basket. So, do I have a pen? I have a pen. Alright. So now we're going to have to uh, find a piece of paper here. That'll work. We're going to map out and see if we can uh, figure out the Bank of Zork. So. Only exit is to the north. There's no reason to really... Hey, Mitchell. There's no real reason. Alright. So we just, uh, just in time, we just redid the balloon ride. And then I made a hard save, and uh, time to rob the bank. We'll map and rob the bank. Yep. So I'm just going to leave this ruby here because I've also got stuff in the basket. So I'll know where it's at. And uh, we're in the lava room, so I want to go east. And from the ice room... It looks like I want to go east, north, and north. Because east, north, and north to get me to the dragon den. And then we get to go west of the fresco room, which I haven't mapped out yet. And uh, rob the bank. And I, I didn't add the wizard area or the... Uh, 
the hot air balloon to my revised map, but I still do have my rough notes of it. So. So if we want to go east to the cool room, north to the stone bridge, north again to the dragon room, west, and we're in the fresco room. And so, path leads east to west. So what's west of here? All right, so. Bank entrance. This is the entrance hall of the Bank of Zork, the largest banking institution of the great underground empire. A partial account of its history is in The Lives of the Twelve Flatheads in the chapter on J. Pierpont Flathead. <laughs> A more detailed history, a bit less objective, may be found in the Flathead's outrageous autobiography, I'm rich and you aren't, so there. <laughs> Most of the furniture has been ravaged by passing scavengers. All that remains are two signs at the northwest and northeast of the corners. All right. Which say viewing rooms. The way out, ornate but tasteful, is to the east. Oh, yeah. And the way out is to the east. All right. Uh, let's go northwest. <laughs> uh and we're in West Teller's room. You're in a small room, which was used by a bank officer who retrieved safety deposit box for a customer. On the north side of the room is a sign which reads viewing room. On the west side of the room, above in an open door, oh boy, so. Okay, let's make sure southeast takes us to, whoops, we can't go that way. South? Okay, so south takes me back to the bank entrance. Gotcha. So back to northwest. And I can uh, add this box now that I know south gets me back to the bank entrance. West teller's room. West teller's room. Now, is there an exit to the north here? On the north side of the room is a sign which reads viewing room. On the west side, above an open door. So let's try north and see what happens. And we're in the west viewing room. Okay, so, and south takes me back to 
the bank entrance. What the heck? That was weird. Northwest. And I'm in the West Teller's room. And North took... That's weird. Okay. But South took me back to the bank entrance instead of the West Teller's room. So I guess I'll put an arrow here to the north because it seems to be a one way it seems to be one way so I'll put an arrow showing that it's a one way one way ride at least as far as getting back to the west teller room and that takes us to the west viewing room This room was used by holders of safety deposit boxes to view their contents. On the north side of the room is a sign which says, Remain here while the teller retrieves your safety deposit box. When you are finished, leave the box and exit to the south. Safety deposit boxes cannot be removed from this room. Thank you from banking at Zork and then south takes us back to bank entrance so up I'll, I'll do the I'll do the same thing I'll draw a line from the south out of the viewing room to the bank entrance and then again put some one-way arrows on it because this is a strange place to map out so that's a one-way trip. All right. This is actually a weird area. So let's go back. Northwest. Let's go west this time. And we're in the safety depository. And does east take me back? to the West Teller's room. No. East takes me to the East Teller's room. What the frick? Now, if that ain't weird, how am I going to map that out? I remember this bank was confusing as all hell, but cry me. This is a large rectangular room. The east and west walls were used for storing safety deposit boxes, but all have been carefully removed by evil persons. To the east, west, and south of the room are large doorways. So if I go west, I go back to West Teller's room, and west, you keep walking rest, and you go back in between these two rooms. Now that's, uh, okay, so I can figure, we don't know where south goes, I don't know where south goes yet, but let's go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna put on all. I'm gonna put a one-way arrow. And this is safety. I guess I'll just have to map the whole thing out. 
and I, fi I figure and then west again oh, wait let's see here okay the shimmering curtain the light to the north cool and there is a doorway south and and I know west takes me back to the west teller's room and that's a one-way trip The northern wall of the room is a shimmering curtain of light. In the center of the room is a large stone cube about 10 feet on a side. Engraved on the side of the cube is some lettering. On the ground is a small worn piece of paper. Okay, let's read the cube. Bank of Zork, Vault, 720, 722 goo that's great underground empires what the gu the gue stands for froboz magic vault company all right let's read the paper the papers are barely readable you can only make out valuables are completely safe Advanced magic technology. Impossible to take valuables from the depository. Either tellers. Many customers faint. Teller pops in. Seems to walk through walls. Now, this is a weird puzzle. I'm going to save as bank here, just in case I have to come back to here. And uh, figuring how, how to walk through the walls, and depending upon where you came from, where walking through that wall takes you, changes. And so... That's right. The, the east and west teller rooms loop to each other through the safety depository. So, to actually draw that decent on the map, I'm going to have to like make lines go over lines and cross lines and stuff. Or, not take it revised beyond the mess I'm making on my own piece of paper and after I'm done see what Infocom did with it. So let's go south and we're in the chairman's office. The loan exit is to the north. Well, you also have the loop. You also have to get into the vault, and then get out of the vault. See, this has a lone exit to the north. But it appears okay. That's that makes sense because the safety. Okay, I guess it would. Because we're in, because the safety depository is in between the west teller room and the east teller room, but it's on the wrong side of each of those rooms. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, it makes your head hurt even drawing it down and looking at like, huh? Chairman's office.
All right, let's see if I can get this portrait out of this room. I won't be able to take it out of the depository, I'm pretty sure. But I'm not even sure. So get portrait. Can we walk? Okay, I am back in a safety depository. And I want to end up in... Let's just see if I can just go north. There's a curtain of light. Okay, walk through north wall. You feel somewhat disorientated, or yeah, good enough, as you pass through. This is a small bare room with no distinguishing features. There are no exits from this room. There's nothing... There's nothing in here? The vault's empty? Okay, I need to search the safety depositories. So let's walk through North Wall again. No. Walk through South Wall. Okay, that works. And that takes me back to the safety depository. That's inside the vault where it says in the center of the room is a large stone cube about 10 foot on a side and it's the it's the vault of the bank of Zork and it's empty now The east and west walls were used for storage safety deposit boxes, but all have been carefully removed by evil persons. So if I go west, it's not going to let me. An alarm rings briefly and an invisible force bars your way. Because I have, because I came from the vault, drop port burn. So now I can go west, back to West Teller's room. So now that I'm in the West Teller's room, and it's my job, Try to go west again, get port writ. West again. No, that didn't work.
All right, my brain hurts. Okay, so somehow... Well, the, I was inside the cube and it just said it was featureless. But I'm trying to think. West viewing room. So how do I get to the west viewing room? West Teller's room, and west of there. Takes me to the safety depository. Get portrait. Okay, I don't need the matchbook anymore. And I don't need the brochure anymore. <laughs> okay, we're going to go through this. I'm not sure if I'm going to end up in the cube this time though, because I'm not coming I'm not coming from the chairman's office this time. I'm coming from the West Teller's room. Brochure, comma. No, even this is even if you fully once even after you fully understand what's going on here, <laughs> it's still hard to explain. But so before we came from the chairman's office, and so we walked through the north wall. We ended up inside the safe. So get Porter. So walk through North Wall. Oh, that worked. Okay. And we're in the West Viewing Room. And so we got the so we got the uh, we got the portrait out of the safety deposit. Now check this out. And let's go south. And we're back at the bank entrance and we got the portrait out of there. Okay, we got the portrait out of there. <laughs> I'm going to drop this thing. Now let's do the same thing again. Northwest. And we're in the West Teller's room. So we go west again. And we're in the safety depository. Now watch this. If I go south from the chairman's office, and then I go north, now if I walk through the north wall, there is Nako. Don't chew the cord. You can hang out on my shoulder, but playing with cords is a no-no. Now I'm in the small room because I came from the chairman's office instead of a teller room. So where you come from before you walk through that north wall, see it's a small room. This is a small bare room with no distinguishing features. There are no exits from this room. So now I'm inside the vault. Because I came from the chairman's office 
And yeah, it's are you more? Did I confuse? Did I help or did I confuse you even more? So now we walk through. Ow! Whoopsie. Neko, Neko. South wall. It's all about walking through walls. And we're back to the safety depository. And I don't need the card. Okay. And so now... And I got the painting out of here. Now let's go east. So this is the same thing but mirrored of the West Teller's room. <laughs> the cube is in the middle of the deposit room. And the small room past the light curtain is the cube. If you come from the chairman's office, if you come from one of the teller rooms, it takes you to the viewing room instead. It, it, it takes you, that same curtain of light takes you to one of three different places, depending upon where you come from. There's three different places it can take you to. <laughs> Let me figure this out, and as soon as I figure this out, I'm going to cheat with the, the, the Infocom made map. And it might, it's still going to be confusing, but <laughs> I'm, I understand it, and I'm confused. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now... north and we're in the east viewing room which should be the same as the west viewing room on the north side of the room is a sign which says remain here while the teller retrieves your safety deposit box when you're finished leave the box and the exit Okay, can I go east or west from here? No. West? No. North? No. Alright. So south. Alright, let's go northeast again. Make sure there's nothing left in this bank. Is that portrait really all we had to get out of here? takes us to the safety depository. And there's really no safety... Okay. So... So let's go... Uh, Alright. And from East Teller's room we should be able to go south. And get portrait save bank. All right. It's just one of the treasures that you have to get, and you don't know any of this really. You're just trying to figure this out as you go. But the um, you get the demon to defeat the wizard for you and the demon wants payment for that and so these treasures that you're gathering end up being that pavement but uh...
here's Oops. Here's how they drew it. Oh, see, there is something. I am missing something. I didn't... Let's, uh... Why didn't I see the bills? All right. Okay, I see. So the uh, the shimmering curtain, when you walk through the curtain of light in the safety depository, but why there? That can take you to either the small room maybe I'm not in the vault because they're showing a dotted line across the north of the vault So I've only made it into the small room. I haven't made it into the vault yet. So the small room's not the vault. It's just another... Okay. I think I got it. I think I got it. Jesus. So I just used the map. See, this is where. No, I wasn't in the vault. I was. I thought the small room was the vault, but the small room's not the vault. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back. And after, because if you come from the chairman's office, it takes you f to the small room. So what I'm going to try to do now, is I'm going to walk through this curtain coming from the small room and see if that takes me to the vault. This curtain might take you four different places. Holy cow. Yeah, it's... it's this is a... This puzzle's hard and you're like... Okay, so anyway, I, I did good though. I got, the, I got the portrait out of there. I just... Uh, All right, whoops. Okay, I messed up. Southwest, whoops, northwest, west. Now I wanna go south. I'm gonna go north again. Walk through north wall. And I'm in the small room. Walk through south wall, and I'm back in the depository. Now let's see. Now I came from the small room. Now I'm in the vault. So that shimmering curtain of light doesn't take you three different places depending upon where you come from. It has a chance. It takes you four different places. And those four different places that it takes you depends on where you come from. Get bills. And man, I feel like I cheated because I looked at the map because I thought I I thought I had it figured out. 
So now we walk through north wall. Okay, so now I got to drop the bills. Oh, and the portrait. <laughs> yeah, oh my God, what a freaking. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can trace this out on the map. So we start from a viewing room. We go to the depository. We go to the chairman's office so that we end up into the small room when we walk through the curtain of light. And then we walk through the north room again after the small room to get into the vault. So now we want to make, we, and, and the alarm is sound if we try to leave with our treasures. So now we want to start from one of the viewing rooms. No. We want to start from one of the teller rooms, grab our stuff, and that allow us to get it to the viewing room. Oh, ye. <laughs> All right, so Northwest. Oops. Oh, we're in the West Teller's room. So now we want to go West. And we want to get Portrait. Comma bills. Walk through north wall. And that'll take us to one of the viewing rooms now because we came from one of the viewing rooms. Cool. Now, I might, an alarm may still sound because I, but we'll see. But I don't have a safety deposit box, I just have items. Whoops. Oh my god, yeah. I think it's <laughs> it's yeah so let's let's go through this one more time boy they made okay I guess I'm not even going to try to explain it. <laughs> I just, yes, taking it, and it. I'm just going to show you, show it to you here. Knowing that this shimmering curtain of light doesn't take you just one of these three places, it also takes you to this vault. Depending upon how you enter the safety depository, <laughs> it's like, I need some Excedrin, some Tylenol. And some aspirin. Get my, my, my map of this is a mess. I'm, I'm embarrassed. I need a cigarette after that. Uh, and I done lied to you. 
and told you that the small room was the vault but it wasn't it was just another it was just a room you had to come from to get to the vault it's like man okay <laughs> wow. Well, I guess I didn't do too terrible. I wouldn't I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have pulled this map up yet though if I didn't if I would have realized that I didn't really make it into the vault yet. Darn it. I'll say it so. All right, so. So we want to go east to the fresco room. Okay, back to sanity. Did I close my... Back to some sanity here. This part of the map sane. So I want to end up back at the gazebo. So if I go east and east, and east, south, so okay. So keep going east to the ledge. So like south to the marble hole. All right. Right? Good idea. Intermission time. Holy cow. And I'll, um... What the heck? No? Where's that picture? Did I close... Oh, come on. I must have closed that other picture out. Let's go find it again. <laughs> yeah, I'll put. I'll bring this back up, so y'all can hurt your brains <laughs> on this bank of Zork puzzle. <laughs> Is there a hundred and fifty? Can I type in a hundred and fifty percent? Yeah. So yeah, we can make it about keeping in mind that, that shimmering curtain of light right here has four different destinations depending upon, depending upon where you're coming from. I remembered three of the destinations. Wow. Wow. <laughs> At least by the time I figured out I hadn't made it to the vault yet, I had figured out, I, I had understood the pattern. <laughs> Where'd the necro chan go? She attacked me a little second ago. <clears throat> there she is. You're trying to close the door. Get your dog in. Scrappy Dappy Doo. Come on, Scrappy. 
Well, I don't know. Scrappy dappy doo. Come on. There you go. Yeah. He's a good boy. All right. Um, I would have, I wouldn't have figured it out until the demon was asking for a treasure I hadn't found yet, and I'd have had to probably like. I may have had to, if it wouldn't have been for sneaking a peek at that map accidentally. I might have had to look at the clues when the demon wasn't happy and I thought I gave him all the treasures already to figure out what I missed. All right. East. East. Well, I thought I, I thought I got through all that whole area, so I was like, okay, because I'm looking at this mess I made on my piece of paper, and uh, it's like, oh shit, I really didn't get into the vault. The tiny room's not the vault. Sphere, comma blue sphere. Get necklace. Get rose. Exit gazebo. South. West. Southwest. Save. All right. Now, I don't think I need to take care of anything south until after I summon the demon, but I can't remember for sure. So, wow. So let's go, let's go west from here first because this is just room eight. This is a small chamber carved out of the rock at the end of a short crawl. On the wall is crudely chiseled the number eight. 
A spray can is in the corner. In large type is the legend Froba's Magic Brew Repellent. Now this Gru repellent isn't important until Zork 3, if I remember right. So let's go south. And we have been... Have we been to the Min here? We've been to the Min here room. But we haven't been... Or have we not? Okay, there's, so we have, on this map, so I got a dotted line to the southwest. Alright, so we'll start over our, on a new piece of paper. Carousel room. Let's go south. Stairway. Okay. Stairway. Down. Oddly angled room. All right, this is a a maze of sorts. You're supposed to figure out that it's a baseball diamond. So let's go east. Okay, cool. So we came from the east. On the floor, there's a long wooden club lies in the ground near the diamond-shaped window. The club is curiously burned at the end. And so... So, my south... Southeast? I'm going to guess southeast is going to take me to first base. Okay, the diamond-shaped window went from flickering dimly to dimly glowing. And so if that took me to first base, if that... Northeast... Now the diamond-shaped window is glowing. So if this is a northwest, would take me to third. Now it's glowing brightly. So then southwest 
should take me back to home plate. You hear a strange rusty squeal echoing in the distance. On the floor is a very small... Yes, you're supposed to figure out it's a baseball diamond. West? Can't go that way. That's weird. And then the east takes me to home plate. So to, all right. A marble stairway leads upward. A floor has swung down at the end of the stairway to reveal a secret passageway leaving down. Down. Just Rebus Room. This is the entrance to a huge crypt or tomb. A marble stairway leaves up. There is a vicious looking dog guarding the entrance. It is more or less your usual dog, except that it has three heads and is the size of an elephant. All right, so let's go up and up again. And back to the north and back to the north again. All right, we're almost here. So, so now we want to go from the carousel room, we want to go southwest. Let's see if we can get violin. Yeah, I didn't think so. Cobwebby corridor. Southwest again. South. West. All right. Put red sphere on. Ruby stand, put blue sphere on sapphire stand. All right. <laughs> Uh, as you place the blue crystal sphere in the sapphire stand, you a low humming noise begins, and you can feel the hairs on the back of your neck begin to stand up. The three spheres begin to vibrate faster and faster as the noise becomes higher and higher pitched. Three puffs of smoke, one red, one blue, one white, rise up from empty stands. The spheres are gone. But in the center of the triangle formed by the stands is now a black stand of obsidian in which rests a strange black sphere
Look in the sphere. As you peer into the sphere, a strange vision takes shape. A huge and fierce, fearful face with yellow eyes. The face peers out at you expectantly. All right. South. All right. Now we're in the pentagram room. Oh boy. A cold wind blows outward from the sphere after we put the sphere in the circle. The candles flicker, and a low moan, almost inaudible, is heard. It rises in volume and pitch until it becomes a high-pitched keening. A dim shape becomes visible in the air above the sphere. The shape resolves into a large and somewhat formidable-looking demon. He looks around, tests the walls of the pentagram experimentally. Then he sees you. Hmm, a new master, he says under his breath. He says under his breath, Greetings, O master. Wouldst thou desire a service, as our contract stateth? For some pittance of wealth, some trifle, I will gratify thy desires to the utmost limit of my powers, and they are not inconsiderable. He makes, he makes a pass with his massive arms, and the walls begin to shake a little. Yeah, let's, let's summon a demon with a black sphere and a pentagram. Nothing can go wrong with that. <laughs> Another pass and the shaking stops. A nice effect. I find it makes for a better relationship to give such a demonstration early on. All right, save. Demon. No, 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 no. Get that out of your. No, 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 no. Trying to, she's back, trying to chew up the headphone cord again. No. No headphone cords. All right, so. Well, let's try this. Demon, comma, kill, wizard. Here we are. Suddenly the wizard materializes in the room. He is astonished by what he sees. His servant in deep conversation with a common adventurer. He draws forth his wand, waves it frantically, and encants Frobiz, Frobazel, Frobnoid. The demon laughs heartily. You no longer control the black crystal, hedge wizard. Your wand is powerless. Your doom is sealed. The demon turns to you expectantly. Now, do we want to... What's a uh, demon? 
give wand to me. Let's see if that works. Nope. Okay, demon. Kill wizard. My fee is not paid. I perform no tasks for free. We demons have a strong union these days. Oh boy. So he's just not any normal demon. He's one of those newfangled unionized demons. Oh my goodness. All right. Give Rose comma necklace comma bills. We'll start with these. See what he says. The demon. <laughs> right? I wonder what kind of health care in 401k the demons get lately. <laughs> the demon gladly takes the perfect rose and smiles bayfully, revealing enormous fangs. Pearl necklace, most fine, master, but tis not enough. I will do a great service, and are not great services brought at great price? Stack of Zorkmid bills, very nice, but not enough. All right, so let's uh, give a portrait, comma crown, comma stamp. Two demon. Scrappy, don't growl at the kitty. Make friends with the kitty. Yeah. Ah, uh, truly magnificent. Keep them coming. The crown. Almost halfway there. A worthy one. Flathead stamp. Oh, such beauty. Your generosity almost overwhelms me. Okay, so uh, the violin is still in the carousel. And some of those other treasures are still in the basket. So, did we get everything out of the... Uh, I think we got everything out of the gazebo. So north, east, north, north, northeast, get violin, and from here, we'll go northwest. <laughs> right you got to imagine that the demons have a pretty uh, a pretty uh, a pretty effective union negotiator South. All right, we're going to have to enter the basket. I was going to say. The key is gold. I don't know if we need it, but let's get Zorkmid. Green book. There's something about this green book. Gold.
gold key. Can I get all that? Yep. Exit basket. North, west, I mean east. East again. Southeast. Southwest. Um, southwest again. South. West. South. Whoops. Where's this route? South. All right. Back to the demon. Give uh, Zork mid. Oh, shoot. Where's the bills? Did I give them the bills already, I hope? Violin. Two demon. Okay, give, give Ruby. A fine gift, mighty one. You have almost reached my fee. I forgot to go get the gold dragon, didn't I? But one treasure is yet to be given. Oh my, please, please, let that gold dragon still be in the dragon's lair. Oh boy, so north, east, north. Um... Northwest, north, 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 open chest, yes, get dragon, Whew. south, south again, south again, southeast, southwest, All right. Give dragon to demon. See what would have happened is I'd have got all. The, he would have if I would have missed if I would have missed that I hadn't gotten into the vault. I'd have got I had got to here, and I'd have really been stuck. And I would have probably ended up looking at the clues to figure out which treasure I didn't find. This will do for my fee. Tis a paltry hoard. But as you have done me a small service by losing me from this wizard, it will suffice. All right. The demon grins hideously. <laughs> this has been my desire ere since this charlatan bent me to his service. I perform, perform this deed with pleasure. The demon forms himself back into a cloud of greasy smoke. <clears throat> the cloud envelops the wizard who waves his wand fruitlessly mumbling various phrases which begin with F. A horrible scream is heard and the smoke begins to clear. Nothing remains of the wizard but his wand. Now all of a sudden the wizard's a genie. I mean the 
the demon all of a sudden, the genie departs, his agreement fulfilled, but he was described as a demon before. So all that was to get this wand. East, North, North, Northeast, South. grows warm. The enormous men here seems to glow dimly with magical essences and you feel suffused with power. Alright, say float the wand glows very brightly for a moment. The men here floats majestically into the air, rising about ten feet the passage beyond, it beckons invitingly. All right, southwest. This room looks like it was once a kennel for a very large dog. Some of the bones would fit a dinosaur. It apparently hasn't been used for a long time, as the dust is fairly thick all over. The only exit is northeast, a giant, gigantic dog collar, large enough for three rhinoceros sized dogs is lying amidst the debris. Let's see if we can read this book now. Nope. Alright, get collar. Northeast. South. Down. And down again. Uh oh. This is the entrance to a huge crypt or tomb. A marble stairway leads up from a gateway arch. There is a vicious looking dog guarding the entrance. It is more or less your usual dog, except that it has three heads and is the size of an elephant. <laughs> Put collar on dog. The creature whines happily. Then the center head licks your face, which is roughly like experiencing a sandpaper washcloth. The other two heads look about as though the monster felt a sudden need to find a pair of slippers somewhere. Its huge tail wags enthusiastically, knocking small rocks around and almost blowing you over from the breeze it creates. Alright, so is this entrance to the south? No. East? East. Okay. Because it really didn't say which direction the entrance was. You're right? Big puppy. <laughs> Big three-headed puppy. Crypt Anteroom. The anteroom is large and empty. Marble bass reliefs depict the stirring times and afterlife of the flatheads, the latter a bit optimistically. The exit is to the west. A huge marble door stands to the south. The door is closed. Above the door is the cryptic inscription. Feel free. Open door. 
it squeaks open south. This room contains the earthly remains of the mighty flatheads. Twelve somewhat flatheads mounted securely on poles. While the room might be expected to contain, to contain funeral... All right. While the room might be expected to contain funerary urns or other evidence of the ritual practices of the ancient Zorkers, it is empty of all such objects. There is writing carved on the crypt. The only apparent exit is to the north, through the door, to the anteroom. The door is open. Okay, let's read. Crypt. Here lie the flatheads, whose heads were placed on poles by the keeper of the dungeon for amazing untastefulness. All right. Turn off lantern. It is dark, but on the south wall is a faint outline of a rectangle as though light were shining around a doorway. You can also make out a faintly glowing letter in the center of this area. It might be an F. Secret door. The secret door opens noiselessly. And that was to the south? landing. All right. Beyond the door is a roughly hewn staircase leading down into darkness. The landing on which you stand is covered with carefully drawn magical runes like those sketched upon the workbench of the wizard of Frobaz. These have been overlaid with sweeping green lines of enormous power which undulate back and forth across the landing. The wand begins to vibrate in harmony with the motion of the lines. You feel yourself compelled downward, and you yield, stepping onto the staircase. As you pass the green lines, they flare and disappear with a burst of light, and you tumble down the staircase. At the bottom... A vast red-lit hall stretches off into the distance. Sinister statues guard the entrance to a dimly visible room far ahead. With courage and cunning, you have conquered the Wizard of Frobaz and became the master of his domain. But the final challenge awaits. The ultimate adventure concludes in Zork III, the Dungeon Master. Your score would be 400. Total of 400 points. And 555 moves. This gives you rank of Master Adventurer. Save. This score gives you the rank of Master Adventurer. Alright. So that's Zork 2. Wow. Made it. So. Yeah. So Tuesday. I'm thinking Moonwrecked. Um, for Tuesday. And then maybe, uh. Maybe I'll start Enchanter on Sunday. Um, 
And then Zork 3 is completely... Uh, Zork 3 ends up being a completely different vibe. Well, we didn't kill nobody. That 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 we just let the uh, we let the the genie get his revenge on the wizard that had him entrapped all those years. I mean, is there anything wrong with that? <laughs> so no, the uh, in Zork three, you become the dungeon master, and so you have to pass test. To uh, prove that you're worthy to become the dungeon master. So you actually have to show kindness and compassion and stuff in Zork 3. <laughs> the political is. Um, let's see here. see if it shows up as yeah it does show up if wiki I think that's what I'm looking for yep so this is the game that I'll play Tuesday it's real short it was released on 9th of March 2011 it's like a short easy I would probably, uh, but this isn't where I downloaded it from, or maybe it is. Is this where I downloaded it from? back no, 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 no so anyway you can download it here too but it's a pretty short relatively easy one before I go to something with the uh, The Infocom stuff is just so huge compared to, uh, just to g give me a breather before I tackle Enchanter. Or is there something uh, you guys would like to see besides Enchanter? And, and this will be like a one episode, Moonwreck to be a quick one episode, uh, Okay, what we got here? Here we go. Here's the... Yes, most of the newer games are way shorter than the other ones because they're just the... Uh... <coughs> There's no money in it anymore. It's just people doing it for the yearly contest or in their spare time or whatever. And, uh, boy, those guys at Infocom were geniuses. But uh, when this, uh, sometime shortly after this stream is over, I'll uh, edit the details. I'll edit the description of the video we're watching now. And I'll put, uh, I'll put the link to this page here. Um in the description for the game that we'll be playing Tuesday. And since this is a Zblorb file, um, Frots might not do it. I might have to use Gargoyle on this one. Because I'm not sure Frots has Blorb support. Uh, 
Um, is Moon Wrecked in here? No. It's right there. Interactive. Okay. So. I might have to use Gargoyle on that one. But it's a pretty nice, easy... Oh, come on. It's a pretty nice, easy game. It doesn't take too long. But it's it's pretty neat. And then... Uh, and then I'll tackle Enchanter. And of course, Thursday, it'll be back to... Uh, We'll do some more Ultima 7 on Thursday and Saturday and Moonwrecked on Tuesday. And then I'll start, yeah, Moonwrecked Tuesday and I'll start, uh, start Enchanter on Sunday. So. That was Zork 2. I almost got through it without a major spoiler when I thought I got through the bank area. And then when I looked at the Infocom made map, I realized, nope, I didn't get through the whole bank area yet. Wow. So, thanks. Thank you for watching. And the chat. And, uh, I'll see you. I'll see some of you Tuesday. I'll see some of you Thursday. Like, subscribe, and share. And, uh, see you next time.